Welcome everyone to German Tool Reviews. Today we have a couple of concealed blade knives from Mator, the CQ Max 150 and the CQ Max 350. These are essentially the same tool except the CQ Max 150 is designed to be disposable and the CQ Max 350 has replaceable blades. These knives are classified as a level 2 product from Mator, which is the safest level for a bladed cutter. First taking a look at the CQ Max 150, it came in a plastic bag which I have since discarded. It has an injection molded handle with a very strong glass reinforced plastic. The blade looks to be heat sealed into the plastic via the two holes in the blade. This blade is not designed to be replaceable. Once the blade becomes dull the entire knife will be disposed of. The embossed arrows on the handle provide a nice gripping surface. They are on both the flat portion and the edges of the knife. Now let's take a look at the CQ Max 350. The side of the box has the following feature pictograms which Mator defines as maximum safety, very ergonomic, soft grip, toolless blade change, abrasion resistant, one spare blade in knife body, 6mm cutting depth, tape splitter. The CQ Max 350 uses number 3550 blades which have a 0.30mm blade thickness. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. We can see there are a couple of obvious features that the 350 has over the 150. The first being the raised arrows that actually are a soft rubber gripping material. There is also a rubber gripping surface along the bottom edge of the handle. The blade change mechanism is latched with a very light plastic snap that doesn't take much force to swing it out. Inside we see a compartment for a spare blade. After the blade release lever is fully extended then the blade at the end can be pulled out. The lever pivots around an aluminum ferrule. A cool design feature is the stop that they built into the lever in the case. There is an indentation in the handle that acts as the stop for the front portion of the handle to prevent overextension. The blade uses a proprietary design and looks like you can only replace them with Mator blades. This particular blade comes heat set in a plastic holder. This does make it quite a bit safer when changing blades. The best use for this tool I believe is opening up packages. The design sort of reminds me of a letter opener. So it is good for opening up packages which may have contents that could be damaged by a regular box cutter. I did try using the tape splitter feature on this package but didn't have much success with it. It did work well just to use the blade to slice the package open. Now let's say you had somebody who was really sadistic and sent you a box with every seam covered in duct tape. This knife performs well for the task as long as you can get the plastic prong into the package or under the tape. One feature the CQ Max 150 has over the CQ Max 350 is the dull flat edge that has come in handy for scraping off old tape a couple of times. In terms of price, the current MSRP for the CQ Max 350 is $9.29. The MSRP for the CQ Max 150 is around $1.85, which is on par with many of the other disposable concealed knife safety blades that are on the market. The price for the replacement blades of the CQ Max 350 is around a dollar a piece, so it is probably more economical to get the CQ Max 350 if you're planning on going through blades very often. Well, that wraps up the review of the Mator CQ Max 350 and CQ Max 150. Check out the link in the description below to the full review, including additional high-resolution photos. If you like this video, subscribe for more reviews of German brand tools.